Hey guys, guess what? I'm taking apart my TRX4 again for some upgrade. If you want to know what I'm doing, stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You guessed it, I am upgrading my front axle again. Why am I saying again? So, just to give you a brief history, I have changed out the standard plastic parts, the front um, axle about a year ago, and I have changed it to a metal conversion. Uh, I've got brass cover, I've got um, aluminum parts, these are aluminums, the C hub and the portal cover, um, you can tell the aluminum one is a lot shinier than the plastic one. It's very solid material. I was really happy with it until when I went to raw crawling with some friends and I discovered the car is not very good at side healing. Um, I know my TRX4 has a defender body which is quite high, it's got high center of gravity, but you know, comparing to my friend's TRX4, I can clearly see mine doesn't perform as well as his one because I didn't have enough um, unsprung weight. So that's why I went online and I was looking for heavier parts and my solution is to change out my aluminum parts to brass. Brass is a lot heavier. Uh, in comparison. Um, so I've actually started the second conversion a couple of weeks ago, um, but then I ran into a small problem. It is with the the front portal axle by Fast Tracks. Oh, just to show you guys, I have changed out the uh, chromoly um, driving shaft as well both front and back you get one for the left side so they said left front and then you get a right front and then there's also two um, for the for the rear differential as well um, i changed them out because previously um, the upper portal gear the gear kind of got snapped off um, because there was there was a lot of torque coming from the the motor the, the gear just you know can't take it so I decided to upgrade it to the chromoly version you need to buy the drive shaft as well as the, the gear you you can't mix the gear with the the standard drive shaft you have to change the pair and it is quite expensive but in the long run i think it is worth it because you know you you don't have to worry about the gear you know being grind and you know have the, the teeth falling off anyway just to show you my uh the reason why i have stopped with my upgrading two weeks ago is because with the brass material, it's very heavy, so everything have to be very precise. I was actually quite worried about, you know, whether the portal cover is, is going to meet or not going to meet perfectly, but thank goodness, um, as you can tell, they all pack together quite nicely. Um, there's no oil leak as such, so I'm really happy with it. Uh, my only issue is um, where this screw that goes into 
the C hub and then your a steering servo will drive the, the steering left and right and the problem is the screw now you ask why the screw is giving me problem it is because this screw I'm not sure whether you see the line there is the second half of the hole it doesn't have any thread or it has the wrong thread pattern so the screw it just won't turn any further and I was too scared to you know to damage the screw or you know stripping out the, the screw or damaging the, the portal drive so I stopped it there two weeks ago and then I contact um, the supplier uh, which I mentioned in my previous video with the axial reef I, I buy a lot of parts and the, the rig from wheel spin model and model sports UK uh, but in this instance I bought the, the parts from uh, wheel spin model so I took a few pictures I pinged an email back to the wheel spin team and I was just telling them, you know, this part might have a manufacturing fault because the, the top screw just won't go in. So um, they contact their supplier, which is CML Distribution. Um, they kind of looked into the case very quickly and then they got back to me and say a replacement part um, has been sent to me uh, on the same day. Um, so without thinking too much, I was thinking, oh, I, I hope they will, you know, send the, the correct side, um, you know, testing the, the screw does actually go in, which they did. And I will show you what has turned out at my door. So they have sent me a new replacement portal all brand new, I haven't even put oil in it. They also sent me all the hardware as well. So now I've got some sp sp spare screws for the um, portal covers. And very kind of them, they also sent me the right side of the portal covers. So now I have two sets. So that's one set, the, the working ones. There's one set that I've already shown you. That's the faulty one with the screw that doesn't go in. And then if I can just lift my rig to show you, I have already have the right side fitted and that fits in very nicely. No problem at all. Ah, just to show you guys, this is a, a good tip. A trick um, when you take out the wheels to you know service your TRX for any other rake I know a lot of people would pop the, the spare tires or the removed tire to pop the, uh, the rake up but then you're kind of putting weight on the tires and you, you might be scratching the rim as well and what I've found is you use Lego bricks and for the TRX4, this actually fits perfectly. And I also have enough apart which can lift the rig from, from the portal cover. It's very handy to have. It's quite cheap. I'm sure you can find it from your loft from when you were a kid. And they are a lot ch cheaper to buy, even if you go into Lego shops and just buy, I don't know, a cup full of bricks and you can just make your own stand. It's a lot cheaper than buying the, the proper um, scale jack. And it, it does the job perfectly. Anyway, so now I need to take the front portal, left side portal apart again. And then I need to replace it with the replacement part. I need to put the um, 
degrees back in make sure everything is sealed properly yeah so um i'm not gonna spend time putting all the parts in front of the camera so i'll do it off camera and then in my next video i will show you a in-depth video basically to show you exactly what i have done to my trx4 um, i have spent a lot of time and money on this rake because it is my well one of my favorite rake and i just want to put all the um, upgrade parts to it to make it perform um, before I go, I would like to point out another thing to you, and this is quite useful if you are into modifying your TRX4. So you can see it here um, where my steering servo is sitting. That is the, the standard plate or steering, not steering, sorry, the, uh, the servo plate that also keep your chassis um, together. I previously have upgraded to obviously aluminum parts and this is by KYX I just like the color combination the red black gold um, I was really happy with the um, quality of the mounting plate until I decided to change out the motor from the the standard chassis motor to the hobby wing fusion two in one i'm sure a lot of you guys already know how powerful and how awesome this motor is you know with the slow crawl and high torque so why do i have to take out this server plate it is because the way they manufacture this plate I'm not sure for what reason, maybe something to do with the, the structure factor or what, but this bit of metal here, the lips, is kind of preventing me to mount the, the hobby wing motor horizontally, is actually catching at that corner here. I mean, I had the option of filing it down, but I just, I got too lazy and um, I just thought I would just keep this parts and fit it to my uh, TRX Sports and um, I don't want to damage the original parts, if that makes sense. So I went online and I purchased this replacement part, which is also aluminum. This is by Fast Track. Um, this is the, the code to the product, so if you want to look for it, make sure you get the correct parts. If you're not planning to change out your motor, then it's absolutely fine to use the um, mounting plate by KYX. So I'll just show you the difference. See the lips on the red one compared to the one on the black? black one give you a lot more clearance for the motor so um, I will have to take out the uh, plastic parts and put on these aluminum parts and I will show you in my next video as well um, I think that's about it guys um, I don't want to um, take up too much of your time without showing you too much of my rig but I just want to make you aware you know if you're planning to upgrade your uh, front portal drive to aluminum or brass you know there are a few things to be aware of um, because you'll be adding more weight to your rake so it makes sense to upgrade your drive shaft and the portal gear to uh, chromoly this is the this official trusses part 4340 chromoly left front and that's right front as well it comes in a pair yeah just want to show you that really 
apart from that, that is it, guys. Um, like I said in my next video, um, when I manage to find a bit more time to video the whole rig, I will show you, you know, my modification on the actual defender body, as well as you know what I have done on the chassis, and you know any modification that I've done previously, I will show it to you. Um, like I said, you know, I have spent a lot of money on the rig. Um, I was just looking on the the log that I've created. I have spent just over uh, two thousand uh, pound, including the the rig itself, um, which I'll show you um, in my next video. Um, for now, take care, have fun, drive your RC, be safe out there, and I will see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe and take care for now thank you guys bye